Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I am going to show you a couple of ways to troubleshoot your remote desktop um, connection. So what I've got is a just a very simple network setup where I've got a router and a modem and I've got two computers at the moment on the network and a printer. Okay, so what I want to do is remote desktop to another computer that's in the house. But if I'm having a few problems, um, I've got a few ways to check out uh, what to do. First, I just want to show you a quick and easy way to connect to another computer via a remote desktop connection. So what we're going to do is go down to the icon, the network icon, in the notification area. Now this is on the Windows 7 computer. So we're going to right click and it can just say open network and sharing. Okay so let's do it. Right so now we're going to go up into this up the top and we're going to press here where it says see full map. Now it's creating a network map of the computers that are networked and there's the router, there's the two computers and the printer. Okay, so here's the computer here. Now all I have to do is right click on it and go here and see how it says connect with remote desktop connection. So click on that and this will come up. Now if you've got it's trying to connect and all that stuff that means that you're definitely going to have a problem. Now this is instant um, it knows the computer that it wants to connect to um, so I'm not going to have a problem connecting to it at this time but this video is about troubleshooting the connection so um, let's continue okay so I've got this little uh, notepad here that I'm just going to go through so first we're going to make sure that the settings are enabled on both computers. Okay, so we're talking about remote desktop settings. So basically what we want to do is on most of these computers, just say you've got Windows 7 or whatever, we'll go down to the Start menu and we can go to Control Panel just to make it easy. Go to System in Control Panel and then up the top here just there we've got remote settings so we'll click on that and here it is here it goes right to the remote tab there now it says allow remote assistance connections to this computer and we can press on advanced and it's got allow this computer to be controlled remotely now if you want to connect to this computer you need to enable these things here okay um, you can click on that and see what happens um, now this is what we need now these other tabs are just settings for your system properties you can just go through those if you like but they've got nothing to do with this at the moment now something that has got to do with it is the computer name okay because you don't want it to be the same as the other computer okay and also the work group is called work group in this situation now what you want to do is make sure that the other computer is on the same work group now my work group is called work group so you can go and check that you can also go and check to see whether they've got the same work group password in there so I'll show you how to do that now we'll see what work group we're working off so I'm going to go right down the bottom here and my um, task bars here now this is Windows 7 and on the other computer I think it's uh, this is Windows 7 Home Premium and the other computer is Windows 7 um, Ultimate or something like that so what we're going to do is go to this little network icon here and click on it and then click on open network and sharing okay so now I can see the details of the connection on this computer 
So I've got the actual uh, connection there. I've joined a network and um, I'm in a home group, sorry. Um, I can connect or disconnect and I can see the full map. Okay, so first I'm just going to show you where the home group password is. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, now it just says down here, view or print your home group password. Okay, so there it is there. So what you've got to do is check to see if it's the same on the other computer just so you know you are connected to the same work group. Alright, let's go back. Now also in here, here's another thing here. Let's go here, see full map. Okay, now Windows is creating a network map. Now if you're on a public network, it will not let you do that, okay? Now there's a few handy things here. So we can mouse over something and it'll give us the IP address of something. Um, it will, that's the computer that in the office that I want to connect to. It'll show me the IP address. It shows me the computer name. It shows me there's a printer, right? And they're all connected to the internet, okay? So I can simply go like this and go office, PC, I can open it if it's got share, um, you know, files that are being shared, or I can connect with remote desktop connection. Okay, so that's one way to get to the remote desktop connection. Now, um, I don't have any problems at the moment, but believe me, I've had problems in the past, so that's why I'm showing you all these possible things. Now, um, Sometimes the computers don't like to use the name of the computer to connect. So if you hover over and get the IP address, okay, and use that um, instead of the name sometimes, okay. Right, um, now the, as I said, this is a home network. I'm going to go back at, and um, I'm just back in network and sharing and it says home network there. So that is the only way I'm going to get that map coming up. So if I click on that, see how it says this? You can change it to a public network or whatever, but I'm on a home network, so that's why I'm getting that map with all those IP addresses. All right, um, I think as long as you're all in the same network, like as you can see when I showed you that full map, um, okay, so what else can we do? So just say you still can't connect. Now there is a link down the bottom here if on this networking page saying Windows Firewall. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Now in here it says here's the network um, there's all the details, it's a private network, a home network, blah blah blah, okay, it's not so private anymore but I guess I'll have to go and reconfigure it now after this video. Uh, but let's go to advanced settings here, okay, click on advanced settings. Now here are some different rules. Okay, this is Windows Firewall with advanced security. Now let's go on, just say I'm on the computer that I want to connect to. Now it's got ticks next to the things that are allowed. And um, in here you'd probably find remote desktop in there and make sure that it's enabled. Okay, you can also go to the outbound rules. So that's the connections that are going out and make sure that you've got them on there as well. But as I said before, this should be okay, but you never know of course. Um, because we did go and do the proper settings before. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, let me have a look at my list. We set up the basic settings on both computers. We confirmed we were on the network, the same network. 
we confirmed we were on the same work group um, we don't have the same computer name okay um, now this is one that gets me every time never have the same password because um, that's happened to me heaps it's just as simple as changing your password on one of the computers and um, just you're not allowed to have anything the same these have got to be different um, completely different when connecting to each other um, so make sure you've got a different password okay because I have sometimes I have the same per password on a computer and it won't let me remote desktop okay now I also took you to the advanced settings of the firewall okay just in case these first basic settings didn't work then I also took you to see the full map of the network so you can find the IP addresses to see if you can connect through that okay now I've got last but not least reset the router and start again okay now you can do that from inside your router when you log on to it I'll just um, cancel that and put that down the bottom now I've got my router open here it's a Belkin router and it'll say restart router uh, restore factory defaults and stuff like that so um, you should be able to do whatever with that now there's another thing here um, you can go to the client list and you can it'll come up with the IP addresses what you can do here is make sure that there isn't an IP conflict so if both of these computers are connecting on the same IP address you definitely are going to have problems or even if one computer is connecting on the same IP address as something else okay because when you're typing it in the, um, the whole system's going to get confused on where it's meant to remote desktop to the next thing is to go and set up your own IP address so what we're going to do is go down to your connection details so we'll go down to the network icon right down the bottom again and press on the open network and sharing right so we're back in here again now what I want to do is look at the connection the wireless connection we've got I'm going to click on it and it'll come up with the status now I can do a few things here I could diagnose it disable it I can get the properties and I can get the details now the details that's another way to find out the IP address um, the um, the gateway the default gateway and stuff like that that now you need these details if you want to set this up manually okay which can help so computers don't have to find an IP address they have one already so I'll show you how to do that all we have to do is go to properties and we usually go down to this version 4 internet protocol right press on properties once you've selected it and up here it says obtain an IP address automatically which is usually checked now I've checked this one and filled in the details myself because I don't want the computer looking for an IP address now I got the default gateway details the IP address from where I just showed you okay the automatic settings I stole the automatic settings and then I put them in here and I made them um, so they're not automatic anymore all right so that means that my computer doesn't have to look for an IP address every time it connects to the internet okay now that is good to stop IP conflicts and it also pretty good for remote desktop okay so let's just run through the troubleshooting tips just quickly because I might have I've added a few through the throughout the video 
uh, the basic settings enabled on both computers. Okay, so we did that by going to System Properties through the Control Panel and um, going to the Remote Settings. Okay, and we tick the boxes to make sure that everything's enabled on both computers. Okay, we confirm that they were on a network together going through the same router. We confirm that they were on the same work group. Um, we confirmed that they didn't have the same computer name. They were both different computers with different names. We made sure they don't have the same Windows password because some people like to name all their computers the same and have the same passwords. Uh, we checked the firewall settings, the advanced settings, even though we did go and set them up here, which should have changed those ones, but you never know. Um, we went and found out how to find an IP address. If you go on network map, it'll show the IP address of the computers. Um, that's only if you're using a home network. Now that means that instead of using the name to connect remotely, we can use the IP address. Um, also, we tried to set up a static IP address so the computers don't have to look for an IP address and it reduces the risk of having IP conflicts. Okay, and the last but not least, I took you to the router page and just showed you where you can reset the router and it's simply in the left menu of your router page. Okay, I'm sure there are plenty more reasons why remote desktop doesn't work, but um, this may help a few of you figure out your problem. Okay, thanks for watching.